Hey guys! So, um, I wanted to make a video today just because it's been a good day, so I figure why not. Um, for example, I managed to fix my sleeping schedule that's been messed up since like December, and I made some progress on my master's thesis. Um, just some good things happened in general today, like I got Starbucks, um, so right after I got my hot chocolate, my favorite song started playing on my phone, and, uh, yeah, it's been a good day. It's also really nice outside, so that's also a bonus. So because it's really nice outside, the topic I want to talk about today is Pokemon Go! Um, just because... It was really popular last summer, and then it kind of pittered out as summer ended, and, you know, people stopped talking about it. I mean, some people still played. Me and a bunch of people at the university were still playing, but, um, in general, the game became less popular as summer ended. And, I mean, here, it makes perfect sense, because it gets, like, down to, like, minus 40, minus 50 with the wind chill sometimes in the winter, so... It's understandable that people would not want to go outside and catch Pokemon in that temperature. But, I mean, some people still, like, you know, populated the gym on campus. One of the gyms. I mean, there's a couple of them on campus, but one of them's actually kind of, like, near my office, so I pay attention to it. There's a Pokestop right outside my office, so I can actually sit there and just, like, every five minutes get stuff from the Pokestop. Did that all last summer, too. Because last summer I was working on campus, and I mean, I didn't have an actual schedule, and it was a work that I could do from home. But I tried to go in every day and sit there and do it in the office so that I would actually stay in the office and focused. And of course, Pokestop right outside the office, and there were times I would run around campus, um, taking over a gym, adding to a gym, or just catching Pokemon in general. And, um... I just wanted to mention it because um, now that it's getting nicer out, I think people are going to start playing again. Um, the app, I uh, think, is obviously not going to be as popular as it was when it first came out last year because, I mean, there was a lot of hype about it. So a lot of people got it and made the effort to get it before it was actually officially available in their countries. And then after a little while, they just got tired of it. And some people didn't, some people did. Um, in general, the app was really good for getting me outside. And for somebody who really does not go outside, um, the heat and humidity make me really ill. I could be anywhere from throwing up to laying in bed delirious if it's too hot. I tend to s sit around in the summer with a fan on me and sometimes with no clothes on if I'm at home alone. Just like to try to keep cool. But even if I go somewhere, say, like the university, I have a fan in the office that would be on all the time. But despite that, I actually got outside last summer. Um, one example of this was um, I spent the summer with a couple of my friends who live um, about a 10-minute walk from downtown. Uh, because I was just saving up for my own place at that point, so I was just kind of like couch surfing between two people's homes, and they lived right next door to each other, so it was very, uh, easy. <laughs> and we had this Facebook chat for all of us on Team Mystic, and, uh, somebody was like, oh my god, there's a Blastoise downtown. And last year, especially, um, the main three, uh, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, were not easy to find in a lot of places, and their evolutions were even more difficult to find. So seeing a Blastoise downtown was a big deal. So I threw on what clothes I had. I mean, I know the Pokemon only last for like 10 minutes since they first appear on the app. So since they have lived about a 10 minute walk from downtown, I really had to make sure I got there fast. So I threw on some pants and my friend's hoodie, basically the first thing that I could find because I didn't have time to run around and get dressed. And I ran out the door and ran all the way downtown. It was like 35 degrees. I was sweating and everything by the time I got there. And there was all these people crowded around the same spot, so I knew it was the right spot. And sure enough, Blastoise showed up and I caught it. And I walked all the way back. But that's just an example of how easy it was to get me outside in that instant. Outside, running, going somewhere for such a short period of time. Whereas these days, like, 
I usually don't even want to walk to the corner store. I do, but I don't want to. <laughs> so, it's just interesting to see how many people actually get outside and exercise, even if, like, you know, accidentally, by playing this app. So I know this video doesn't really have so much of a point, but I spent about a half an hour today sitting outside the school library, which is where one of our gyms is, and uh, just doing battles so that I could level up the gym and put one of my Pokemon in it. And I just thought about that for a moment, and then thought about now that it's nicer out, so many people are probably going to be back outside and playing Pokemon Go, and it would be really nice to actually see people getting involved in it again. It was really fun, and then all of a sudden, people stopped talking about it. I mean, that's the thing with, like, hyped-up things. They're really popular for a short time, and then people forget about them. But I just wanted to talk about Pokemon Go, because... I like Pokemon, and I like Pokemon Go. And it, I was really excited when it came out to the point where my one of my friends and I uh, sat down and rewatched um, the original Pokemon anime, like Indigo League, on Netflix. And I was having so much nostalgia because I watched Pokemon when it first came out in North America. I remember the very first episode being shown. I was about seven years old or something, and my dad was just like, hey, you might like this show, it has the same animation as Sailor Moon, and I was really obsessed with Sailor Moon as a kid. So I sat down, I watched it, and I was like instantly in love. Instantly in love, like Pokemon all the time. Um, in one of my earlier videos that I made um, a couple months ago, you saw that I have this Evolutions uh, Christmas sweater, and I also have my Eevee tattoo. <laughs> So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, just Pokemon Go, um, if you play it, write in the comments that you play it. Um, if you don't know what it is, uh, feel free to Google it and everything. I've tried to explain it as bit as I can in here, I don't want to make this, you know, a whole long infomercial video about it. And if you got tired of it, I mean, write in the comments why. I, I, I like to facilitate discussion, so... Yeah, um, if this was really boring for you, um, usually I have a more of a point to my videos, so if this was really boring, check out some of my other videos before you, like, take off and go somewhere else. But if you've seen any of my other content or you just don't want to bother trying to watch any of my other content after this, you can just mosey along on YouTube, find something more interesting to watch. But if you did like this, feel free to subscribe, because I like to make videos where I just discuss life, relatable things, school, uh, dreams, this. So yeah, that's all I have to say, and um, I hope everybody else is having a good a day as I am. And I mean, since I started off with sleeping schedules too, hell, put in the comments if you want to talk about your sleeping schedule and how fucked up or not fucked up it is. So yeah, bye guys! <laughs>